Well, hi everybody, Scott Kelby here from KelbyOne.com and we are looking at removing reflections and glasses and you can see we have a pretty harsh reflection here in the glasses. So, what are we going to do to fix this? Well, I'm going to give you an, a thing to try first and if it doesn't work, the real right way to do it is the next way. Uh, so here's the problem. So it, you can see it's pretty harsh here. Here's what I would do first, just just to see if it'll work. And and anytime you have both eyes obstructed with a reflection, it's going to be really, really tough because if one eye isn't so reflected, you can kind of copy and paste it over to the other and flip it horizontally, but this isn't going to work. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to get the adjustment brush here in Camera Raw, or if you have Lightroom, Get the adjustment brush there, they're the same. We're gonna go down here and make sure everything's zeroed out and we're gonna hit the plus sign right over here four times to the right of dehaze. That zeroes out all the other uh, sliders and sets your amount to plus 100. And then we're gonna see how that does. It's not awesome, but it's not awful either. It, it is somewhat better. And it's the easiest thing you could probably do that might get you there. Now, if you try that and it's it's it does a little something, do this. Go over here and hit new. Paint over it again. Just don't paint over the darker areas, just paint over the lighter areas and see if you can get that to help a little more. So, that's see it. That's really it's not really awesome. However, let's uh, go ahead and hide the overlay. I'm going to hit the letter P. So you can see it certainly is better, but it's not ideal. So what would be ideal? The ideal thing would be you plan ahead for reflections. When you know you're having reflections, here's what you're going to do. You're going to tell your subject, look, we're going to take two pictures. I'm going to take a picture with your glasses on, and then you're not going to move. And I'm going to reach over, and I'm going to slide carefully, slide your glasses off, or I'm going to have your friend slide them off or something. You're not going to move your head. You're not going to touch your glasses. We're going to go click, take them off, Click, there's the second shot. So let's take a look and you'll see what I mean. Here is the shot with the glasses and we just removed the glasses and took the same shot again. And what this, hat, what this allows you to have is a really clear pair of eyes that we can put inside the glasses. Very easy to do. So we're just gonna select all and just do a simple old copy. Go to the other image and paste. Now, depending on the image, sometimes you can select both layers, go to Auto align layers, click OK, and it will align them perfectly for you. Let's see how that worked. It's not awesome because she actually did move, right? So here's what we're going to do. Let's revert that. Let's undo that. And instead, here's what we're going to do. Zoom in tight, right on the eyes. Lower the opacity of the top layer. Then get the move tool and kind of pick up your eyes and move them. So you can see two sets of eyes, the one back here and the one in front. You're going to literally line them right up. Get them when they're like almost perfectly aligned. There you go. Now, raise your opacity back to 100. We're not done yet. You're going to hold the Option key on Mac. You're going to hold the Alt key on Windows. And you're going to click on this little icon right down here, the layer mask icon. Option, click. And it hides the version of her with, the, with no glasses on behind this black mask. So the layer is still there. You just can't see it hidden behind a black wall. Because it's black, you're going to paint the opposite color, white. So just get a brush, go over here and paint. And when you do, it paints the eyes from the other layer in and you get a perfect, perfect look there without any weirdness or anything. And let's kind of get a little tighter in here. All right, I want to leave a little tiny edge. I don't want to get rid of that edge because you kind of want to see that. All right, that's pretty close. Go to the other eye and do the same thing. And you can see it's like right on the money as far as looking realistic. And so just take a moment here and just paint them in. Shouldn't take you but just a few seconds. Now, to make sure you didn't miss any areas, right, here's what you do. Hold the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows and go over to the Layers panel and click right on that layer and see if you missed. And uh, uh, we did. Then just paint them back in. There you go. And then Option click back and you're in pretty good shape. So now, here's the thing. Oh, I, I, don't, I think I might have 
could go a little bit better there. Okay, let's back out and you can see there's no reflection or anything. It's right on the money. If you think you should bring a little bit back, if you think, well, you know, there was like tons of reflection and then there's no reflection. What if I lowered the opacity a little bit and it brings back just a tiny little bit of it to give it kind of a nice look and something like that. So that was a request from one of my readers. He dropped a, a line on um, on Twitter and said, hey, you know, I'm a, I'm a Kelby member, uh, Kelby One member for years, but uh, I don't remember seeing the glass effect. Well, there you go. I, I hope that helps. And uh, hey, if you're into this kind of stuff, go over to kelby1.com since I just mentioned it and all. Take the 10-day free trial and we have classes like you can't believe on every aspect of Photoshop and Lightroom that you can possibly imagine. Go watch them right now. Take the 10-day free trial and start watching. All right, everybody. Scott Kelby here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.